Hello everybody and welcome back to the shop for the season blowout Christmas special episode. <laughs> I hope we make it through this one. The old battery's dead in the Bobo camera. I'm going to get this edge waxed up. I'm going to get this wing glued together tonight. I'm not going to put the flap in it. I got my flap situation all figured out. Thanks to my buddies out there in YouTube land. Hey guys, what's up? Merry Christmas everybody. I wish the best for you all and your family. I don't care where you live, man. I don't care if you're in Finland. I don't care if you're in dang Sweden. All you boys in Australia, what's up, brothers? And over there in the UK, got a lot of guys in the UK watching. Another Canada boys, say something funny to mention them. All my good friends up there, up in the great white north, where it's cold. Too cold. How do you guys take it, man? You know, it gets, it gets 30 degrees. It's like 32 here today. And people just act like it's freezing, you know, and I just, uh, I can go, to the, I just throw my flannel on, you know, flannel shirt and I'm good in this weather, you know, and uh, I don't know how you guys take it, I got some family. The coldest fall I ever spent was the fall I ever, was when I was in North Dakota. I got some family in Bismarck, North Dakota. It was October, about my birthday time. And it was freezing, cold, wintertime, blizzard. Man, I thought, I th man, this is October. I, I can't believe this. I'm going back south. See you guys later. <laughs> and his feet, snow. It's supposed to snow here tonight. We're going to get an inch. They said. But you guys like it up there, so teach their own. Okay, I'll let that sit up for a minute. Man, I got my son coming over tomorrow. Uh, Christmas, I got to smoke a turkey and a big old brisket. Big old brisket. Can't do them both. Smoke ain't big enough. So I'm going to smoke the brisket tomorrow. I'm going to cook it real slow, man. I'm just going to throw a few charcoal briquettes in there at a time. I'm going to keep that temperature 175 on the money for about nine hours. And I will tell you what, that will be the best brisket you ever spent. Hey, you got to cook them super slow. If you just throw them in uh, the old hot... Barbecue like in the pan, you know, you can cook one in four hours. It's pretty good. You know, the temperature up to 325, something like that. It'll cook a little faster, but... Man, you, you control that temperature to about 175. Bam, best stuff you ever ate. That's what I'm going to do tomorrow. I'm going to try to sneak out here and make you some videos, though, because we're going to take this wing apart. Be lots of time to work on the bomber. My son's coming home. He'll be here sometime tomorrow. And we're gonna go to Dad's tomorrow night. See my sisters and her boys. And then can't go over Nita's anymore. You just saw go over Nita's afterwards. Man, I miss that. But that was in and now so we're just gonna come home. Christmas Day, Wes will be here. Amy's coming over. Then I'm going to cook about, then I got to put the turkey on the smoker and cook that Christmas morning. But that cook, I'll, I'll get the temperature up on it and I'll cook it about, it's a smaller turkey, I'll cook it in about four hours. About three, hun. Oh yeah, it'll be good, man. That's it, you got to control that temperature. And, I, and I've really figured that out. I'm going to do that. If you can control that temperature, get it to do what you want. Man, that's some good cooking. 
And then we're gonna, I got the old Aldi in laws are coming over. Christmas Day for dinner. I'm gonna sneak out here and make y'all a movie. <laughs> But remember, we gotta be nice. We gotta be nice. That's what it's all about, man. That or people will talk about you all year long. <laughs> you know what I mean? Why don't you mix me up some more goo? Just sitting there talking, we got work to do. Y'all sitting there, let me loaf. We got work to do here, bucko. Okay, I got. Zero my scale right there. Bam! 100 grams of resin. How much hardener? <laughs> 100 grams of resin to 75 grams of hardener. Did you get that? Who all got that? Who all got that? <laughs> Who was listening? Come on. Let's hear the test right now in the comments. Who was listening? Without backing up. No cheating. Who was listening? Cotton flop. <laughs> no. It's my Scarface invitation. Efficient piece of tape. Tape right there. Turn the paper over. Bam. Take you a gobble goo. Oh, a little bit on the thin side. Let's thicken it up just a minute. For your information, for you guys, this is how you stir epoxy, okay? Notice the churning motion. See that? You're bringing stuff off the bottom. You're not mixing it around, that's all. And then pulling your stick in and out. You gotta get this stuff off the bottom onto the top. Bam. Okay. Too much in these papers. <laughs> 